The best science gives us a new perspective on our world, allowing us to see our lives from a whole new point of view. Or it lets us flip a plane upside down. Let's see what that's like. We do a lot of very exciting stuff on this show, so it's nice to take a break every once in a while. Today, I'm meeting a computer expert, and I was told we're doing something plain. Hmm. Sounds relaxing. Let's go. That expert is Dr. Cecilia Aragon. She's designed software for NASA's Mars missions, was the first Latina to become a full professor at the University of Washington's College of Engineering, and was called by President Obama, quote, one of the top scientists and engineers in the country. But outside of her academic achievements, she's also taken her talents to the sky as a champion pilot with the US Unlimited aerobatic team. As a child, I was so timid and afraid of everything, and I lacked confidence in myself. But after having flown straight at the ground at 250 miles an hour, nothing scares me anymore. I can do anything. Today, Cecilia's not just gonna tell me how computer engineering and aerial acrobatics came together to change her life. She's also taking me with her on an aerobatic adventure. I know that you are a computer scientist, but then I also know that you're an aerobatic pilot. Yes! How are those two things related? Computer science is about taking large amounts of data and organizing it through mathematical algorithms so that you get the results you want. Aerobatics is about taking huge amounts of air molecules and running them past the airplane so that you get the results you want. Aviation is all about aerodynamics, math, physics. There are mathematical equations that determine the shape of the airfoil that you have to calculate, its weight and balance every time you fly. So does being a scientist make you a better pilot? I would not have won a spot on the US aerobatic team without my skill in mathematics. You know, in math, you learn the basics and you put them together and you build a more and more complex environment. Right. Right. Computer science is the same way. You start with zeros and ones and you build them up until you have a complex world. It's the same way with aerobatics. You start out with pieces of loops, pieces of rolls, and you put them together in interesting and creative ways mm -hmm. and you come up with an aerobatic sequence. What makes aerobatics different from other types of flying? It's officially defined as an unusual attitude that's not necessary for normal flight. In aviation, attitude means orientation of the plane in relation to the horizon. And aerobatics pilots push their planes to the limits with moves like inside loops, where the plane goes straight up, upside down, and then back, or aileron rolls, where the plane rotates around its forward axis, and even barrel rolls, where the plane rotates around a central point like a helix. Hope I brought my attitude today. Well, yeah, you're gonna be seeing some unusual attitudes and it might just change your perspective on the world. Cecilia has been flying for 37 years without accident or incident, and she takes safety very seriously. So after an extensive safety lesson and instructions on how to cope with high G maneuvers, we're ready to start our adventure. After we move the plane out of the hangar, she shows me how to manage the plane's controls in case of an emergency. And I will teach you how to jump out of an airplane. Okay. All right. I would love to learn how to do that and then never do that. <laughs> yes. Clear drop. Following a quick taxi down the runway and takeoff, we're in the air. Once we're at altitude, Cecilia starts me off with a steep turn where the plane is tilted at an angle. Normal planes use this technique, but our unusual attitude, a tilt angle off the horizon of 60 degrees, is way beyond what you'd feel on a jet light. We're pushed down in our seats and feel heavy. Oh, okay. oh my goodness. Like we're experiencing more gravity than we'd feel down on Earth. This feeling of extra gravity is what pilots mean when they say, geez. Now she shows me something more advanced, an aileron roll, a full 360 degree revolution right along the plane's axis. You know, I'd seen these in action movies, but I never thought I'd be doing it myself. That was awesome. No aerobatics routine is complete without a full inside loop. When we start to climb, we're feeling three and a half Gs. But at the top of the loop, upside down, we're actually feeling negative Gs. It feels like we're floating, and the tight restraints keep us in our seats. Wow. And the 
finisher, a barrel roll, rotating around the central point like following a corkscrew. Oh, uh, yeah, pretty fun. <laughs> After Cecilia takes us back to the airport for soft landing, my aerobatic adventure is finally done. That was one of the most exhilarating experiences of my entire life. Woohoo! I had so much fun. I got to see how the physics of aerobatics plays out in the air. This is one of the most joyous experiences that I ever feel. I can't um, believe you get to do this I time. love to share it with people. Do you think we can do that again, actually? Sure. When? Right now. Are uh, you bet. Let's <laughs> get go. It Let's do it. <laughs> If you're watching this, you must have really liked the video. Make sure you follow and subscribe, and check out these other videos that are even better. No, really. I've seen this one over a hundred times.